Hi everyone. So one thing that I've been doing with all of this extra time that I have staying at home is going through some of my closets and finding some of the things, interesting things that I have in there. And I came across these really cool magazines, um, comic book magazines that are actually my brothers and they're really awesome. They're from um, some of them, like this one here, this one's from 1978. So they're pretty old. I've got the Hulk, okay? Um, let me show you a couple more. Some of them are really super special, like this one, the Spider-Man comic. I've got, we've got tons of them. Here's some more. This one is the Fantastic Four. See that? And it got me thinking about an artist that I think you'll really like, named Roy Lichtenstein. And Roy Lichtenstein used this comic book style in his art. So before you begin the art part of this lesson, I want you to make sure that you go to my e-learning website and I'll have a little slideshow there for you um, about the artist and you can scroll through and learn a little bit, a bit about him. Here's some of his paintings. There's also a YouTube video on there, um, which is really cool that has um, some, his, his actual son um, being interviewed, talking about his dad's art. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so his art is considered pop art. And you can see right there on the side, you see that comic book look to his art. Just going to scroll through some of the pages so you can see what they look like. Okay, just like that. Really cool stuff. That's him working in his studio. You can see how big the painting is that he's working on. And this one, if you look at it close up, you can see all the little dots that he used to create his work. Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making a comic book style Roy Lichtenstein um, word, word art. So let's start. The materials that you're going to need for this project are paper, a pencil, maybe an eraser, and some markers. Now, I have Sharpie markers. I don't recommend using Sharpie markers, and I know your parents probably don't recommend you using Sharpie markers, um, but these just happen to be the only markers that I have. Um, you'll definitely need a black marker, and then really all you need is two other colors. So if you have a couple of things laying around, that's gonna work out perfectly, okay? The other thing you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to come up with the word that you're going to use. So I'm just gonna come over here so the kind of words that we're going to use are comic book words. Um, there's a name for them. It's called onomatopoeia. And onomatopoeia is a word that imitates a sound. So, um, for example, the word crash is a sound, but it's also a word. Buzz, bang, boom is a word that imitates a sound. There's another boom. You can do, there's a bang. You can do the word pop. You can do the word pow. This was a great word, this word's splat. Okay, and I just wanted to show you, this is the style that we're doing in this. Um, I did this for, um, for school to tell, tell you guys how I feel. You guys are amazing, you are amazing. Um, but for this project, I want you to stick to one word and a word that makes a sound, onomatopoeia. So the word that I'm going to do, I'm gonna do the word bam. And you can make it, if you want, you can make it go straight across the center. You can make it go diagonal like this. Okay, you can pretty much do it any way you want. Um, try to get it spaced out. So I'm picturing three letters. I'll try and get it centered as much as possible. But again, it doesn't have, none of this has to be perfect. So I'm going to start off with my letter B and you're gonna to try to make block letters. Okay, so here's my letter B. And what I wanna do is I wanna make 
it look like it's three dimensional. So there's gonna be a shadow on one side. So the shadow is gonna go here. This is like the side of the letter. So if, if, it, if it's wide on this side, it's also gonna be wide on this side of the B, like this. Okay, and I want my letters to touch. So my A is gonna to touch the B, like this. Again, put the shadow on the side, A, and an M. If you really have a hard time making a block letter, you can always go online and look some up to give you some examples. Shadows on that side, this side, and on this side, right? And I'm going to put a big exclamation point in this one. And again, I'm going to put a little shadow on this side, block letter. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to surround this with a star shape. So basically you're making points. This is gonna give it some action. It's gonna look like the word sounds, bam. And then the next part is to add a shape around it that's more like a cloud. So you're gonna do curvy lines. So I'm going to do this. Imagine that goes through. Curvy line. Curvy line. Curve. Kind of like there's a big cloud going around the outside. It's my dog Winston making all that noise. All right. So, our next step, I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to outline everything that I did. And remember I said, you do not need to use permanent markers. It just happens to be the only kind of markers I have at home. Outline every single bit of it. And I will speed this up. Also outline this star design. 
These are great action lines. cloud line. Now, I already started doing this, but what you're gonna do with this to make these look 3D is to color in this part black. We're done with that part of it. All right, so what we're gonna do next is I want you to pick one color, just one color. It could be any, you know, a favorite color. Um, if you want something exciting, um, you can go with maybe, I know I'm gonna start off with red. So take my red and I'm just gonna color my whole word in. in every bit. I would suggest bright colors. I know yellow is a bright color, but yellow doesn't really show up that well. So, especially with markers. All these letters, one color. So my whole band is going to be red. Got my exclamation point. Almost forgot. Yeah, 
There we go. All right, so now our next thing, we're gonna do it kind of like Roy Lichtenstein, and we're gonna be adding dots. And when you do your dotting, um, I want you to make dots that you take your time making dots, not doing dots like this, but actually taking your time. So a dot like this, a dot like this, like this, okay? You can tell I'm actually drawing in these dots.
And then the last part, we're just gonna color. So you can pick another color, or you can go back to red. If you only have two shades of markers, that's fine. Um, I'm thinking about using an orange, so I'm going to color this back part orange. I think it's gonna make it stand out really good. So I'm coloring in the cloud design. Trying to use those markers a little filled in really nice and evenly. If you notice, I'm pretty much trying to color in the same direction. It makes it look like it's been painted in. There you have it. That's my Roy Lichtenstein onomatopoeia word art. It's a word that makes a sound. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And whatever you create, don't forget to share with me um, at nkenninger at dtschools.org. I'd love to see what everybody's doing.